That's right, John. The spring game kicked off in the sunshine today during Mom's Weekend at 1 p.m. It's OSU versus OSU. 6,852 fans gathered outside Research Stadium Saturday for the 80-minute annual spring football play. Autographs and family fun events were held outside Reeser before kickoff. Orange and black clad fans saw junior quarterback Lyle Moivau pass for 226 yards and Justin Cahoot boot four field goals, leading the white team to a 22-3 victory. Cahoot is a sophomore who appeared in one game last season, but it appears he will replace exiting school record holder kicker Alexis Cerna this upcoming season. There were no touchdowns until the second half when starting running back Ryan McCant scored from two yards out. The biggest play during the regular scrimmage was Moivau's short pass to James Rogers that turned into a 72-yard sprint to the end zone. Rogers added 12 yards on three carries to go with his 96 yards on four receptions. Sports show reporter Ashley Kennedy caught up with center Marcus Henderson. Potentially starting next season, Henderson played as backup to Kyle Devan in 2007 and appeared in six games last season. Our main focus is just, you know, concentrating on the plays. We got a lot of young guys and, you know, they need a lot of playing time, a lot of experience. He looks forward to senior year and talked about the spring game. This game was actually really incredible. Uh, both teams did great. I know that uh, on offense for uh, the white team, you know, we still have some minor things to do and things here and there, but overall, uh, you know, both teams did great. Henderson sees a good season ahead for the Beavers. I'm treating every team as our toughest, you know, one, one game at a time, one practice at a time, but I know that, you know, obviously on the road for the first two games against Stanford and then Penn State. Penn State is going to be a big game. They're going to be loud. And then, you know, we have SC and Hawaii. They're going to be two good teams that we have to play. So I think, you know, first five games are going to be a big test for us, and that's going to set, you know, the standard for the rest of the season. The football team won't return to the field for practice until August 1st in preparation for the 2008 fall season. Lyle Moivau will start as quarterback for the Beavers in the fall after demonstrating a strong arm and better understanding of the offensive unit. He is one of the most physical quarterbacks in the nation and is not afraid to make big moves. He passed for 226 yards and one touchdown in the spring game. He talked about his game in upcoming season. You know, we got a lot more in store. Um, you know, this is just some guys, this is the first time ever playing in front of an audience like this. You know, so there's, there's definitely a lot more that's, that's going to be done and, and we'll definitely take care of that. Moivau played in several games last season, taking over for Sean Canfield in the starting role after the lefty hurt his shoulder at USC. Um, as for all the on-field play, there's more of a, a positive difference as to, you know, knowing our stuff, knowing the playbook, and knowing what we're doing. So uh, that's definitely something good. Former OSU quarterback Ryan Gunderson is back on the field, helping coach this time. Ryan is the most experienced quarterback from the OSU program, one of the most respected players, and a leader on and off the field. Ashley got his opinion on taking off the helmet and serving as a guide to the current team. It's a little bit different, you know, don't have to strap the pads on every day, but um, I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, I kind of had a little bit of a piece of it when I was a player just because I was pretty involved with Coach Riley on game days, but uh, it's been nice. I like it so far. Gunderson also talked about the future of this team come fall season. We're definitely going to have some guys who can play. The young guys have grown. They're getting better. Uh, Sean will come back, and then Lyle had a good spring, so yeah, it looks good. Uh, hopefully it'll, they'll keep on continuing to progress, and uh, we'll have a good year next year. Replay of Saturday's spring game is now available on Beaver Nation Online for members to access at any time. The game ended with a 22-3 victory by the white team today. I am Allie Strauss reporting from KBVR. Back to you in the studio, John. Can I do one more? That's right, John. The spring game. <laughs> That's right, John. The spring game kicked off today at 1 p.m. during my. <laughs> it wasn't cute. The other one. The game.
the game ended with a 22-3 victory by the white team today. Um, <laughs> okay, I the game ended with a 22-3 victory by the white team today. Back to you in the studio. <laughs> this is Allie Strauss. I keep on a test away. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's my test. All the girls come around my test. <laughs>